Yo, have you seen the um, the new changes, by the way? Let me get it up. Talk through them. Subro Gink. Mate. To be fair, some of the changes are pretty sick. At least they're sort of listening. I mean, they still haven't disabled Covenant abilities, conduits, and legendaries in PvP. But, still. This goes out to all the, the people that said, Oh, they're not going to apply changes in pre-patch because there's no point. So, this is for them people, by the way. Who all commented on my on my YouTube video. So, Demon Hunter, Chaos Strike and uh, Annihilation damage reduced by 5%. Good change, don't think it's enough though. But, we'll see. First Blood, damage bonus reduced to 75% of the attack power was 85%. I don't even know what that ability is. Inner Demon damage increased by 25%. Is Inner Demon... Wait. Chaos Strike has a chance to unleash... Wait, that, what the fuck? No, I don't even know what this is. That's not even right. Fix about to prevent inner demon damage from being increased by Havoc's Mastery and Demon Soul's effects. Beast Mastery Hunter has been nerfed. War of Order now grants Barb Shot a 25 to 50% chance to reset the cooldown of Kill Command. It was 50 to 100%. So it was basically 100% reset, but now it's only like there's a chance of it happening that you reset. Healing done from your pets from Mend Pet or Exhilaration no longer grants any healing to the hunters from Leech, which is good fucking takes away there the pve players are in tears about these changes man i'm pretty sure pvpers as well some of them are reduced damage of aim shot by 15 percent mate it was hitting like a truck aim shot uh monk i mean i don't think it's been nerfed that much because the the one shot still works but i think it's just like outside of your like go the thunder fury go you don't really deal as much damage now. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's a good change anyway. But you still have to be wary of the the one shot. I shouldn't have booted up the stream because I really need to poo. Priest healing's been nerfed. Mind games has been reduced damage wise. Twenty five percent. It was a little bit too much to be fair. It was a fucking lot of damage. Shadow, however, has been like buffed like mental. Like 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, all across the board. It's insane. So I thought they were they were good, like, before the patch. But before these changes, they were decent. But, like, now, they're going to be even better. Rupture damage increased by 5%. Assassination, garrote damage increased by 5 Mutilation damage increased by 5 Death mark damage increased by 15%. Amplifying poison mutilate damage bonus increased to 35%, was 30 Uh Scent of blood maximum agility bonus increased to 24%, was 15%. Insane. Assassination rogues are going to be like the one at max level now. I'm not even joking. Like they're going to be insane. It's it's going to be scary. So backstab increased. Backstab damage increased by five percent. Eviscerate damage increased by five percent. Shadow strike damage increased by five percent. So this shadow strike damage increased by five percent. So as a sub rogue, right, your shadow strike is classed as ambush. So does that technically mean that ambush has been Shadow Strike's been buffed by 25%. I don't know. Because it's not exclusive to Assassination or Outlaw, right? So I don't know. If it has been. Who knows? Gloomblade damage increased by 5%. Secret Technique damage increased by 5%. Deepening Shadow's cooldown reduction per combo point spent increased to 0 0.7 seconds. So it's just going to be reset quicker, which is sick. So boys, I think sub rogue is like back to stay. I think sub and assassination, they're going to be strong again. I think. Anyway, <laughs> this is the big change. Right. Elemental. Okay, so they've increased all the damage for elemental, which is fine. Enhancement, all damage dealt reduced by 25%. <laughs> like not, not even like specific specific spells have been decreased by damage just all damage dealt reduced by 25 percent that's just fucking insane man but i think icy veins let's see where they're performing in pve i don't even think they're like that high you know oh enhancement shaman's like sat fifth so enhancement shaman's sat fifth in the thing and they've removed 25% of their damage across the board. You know how fucking nuts that is? 
I mean, it's all it's all subject to change still, but like that is fucking insane. But depends if people are gonna notice it or not. Affliction. Fixing issue A, malefic affliction will be removed with another warlock like a crime. Okay. Vile now applies curse of exhaustion with a six second duration, was twelve seconds, so a bit of a nerf. Sacralized Dark Strike now extends curses by 0 0.2 seconds, 0 0.4 seconds, was 0 0.5, 1 second. But then Demonology's had a fucking huge buff. Implosion damage increased by 25%. Uh, Bile Scourge Bombers damage increased by 20%. Hand of Gul'dan damage increased by 35%. Guillotine's Fell Explosion damage increased by 25%. Like, they have been fucking... I hate dealing with Demonology locks in PvP, you know. We're only having it now last six seconds was five seconds. Mad this blah 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 interesting. I'm sorry, but is this really necessary?